All right. Pay attention. So I'll actually close this. I'll close layer comps. So what you want is you want to be able to make like nice clean lines, clean circles. You don't want too much texture on it. You know, you want to be able to like make big lines like this as well as little lines and you want it to all be readable. Now, the good thing about Photoshop is the default brush works perfectly fine for this. You could literally pick hard round pressure size and use that, right? This is just as good as anything else for storyboarding. This kind of mimics just a Sharpie. You just need some quick, just default works fine. If you can see how fast you can just get a quick appealing shorthand down with just the default brush. I mean, you can see how fast that is. It's literally doesn't have to look anything better than this for a storyboard. This is literally like the bare minimum you need. And this honestly, if you can draw with the default brush, you can draw with any brush, to be honest. Do I like Storyboard Pro? Yeah, I do like Storyboard Pro. However, my job requires Photoshop. And I do think Photoshop has one advantage and that advantage is filter. Blur, motion blur, check that shit out. Look how fast they look. Storyboard Pro can't do that. Honestly, Storyboard Pro has so many other advantages to Photoshop that I would honestly, if I was you guys, I would work in Storyboard Pro. You can do camera moves really fast. You can do everything else really fast, but this is like bare minimum. Now, I'll show you guys how to start. So what you want to do is you want to go into window. We click window, we go down to layer comps. This is what I do. Some people use a timeline. I don't know how to use a timeline. So you click layer comps. Right now we have a blank layer comp state, right? You guys see that? I have not touched it. I've just opened it up. Now, we start with our first panel. I'll do de default brush, so this is like everything you guys can do. Let's see. Girl, sad, looking down. Maybe she has like a hand on the, right? And then maybe another layer, someone in the foreground. Doesn't matter who, doesn't matter what. And then we can even, if you guys want, add a very rough background grid. Maybe some trees in the back. Doesn't really matter, maybe some clouds. And what I like to do is just lower the opacity on that. And there we have a very basic rough storyboard, right? This is like as basic as you can get. This took me maybe 40 seconds to draw. And now what we want to do is click this plus sign. What this plus sign does is creates a layer comp. What a layer comp is, is essentially like every layer you have on when you click that plus sign, will be recorded forever in this layer comps tab. We click OK. There we go, we have layer comp one. Now what we wanna do is duplicate this. So we take this, we drag it over to this plus, we make layer comp la uh, copy. Layer comp one, layer comp one copy. 
And now we want to start playing around with our board, like our characters, our boards. So I want to make her maybe looking up at this, this foreground figure. So what I do is I like to lower the opacity so I can draw over it. And then I just do another pass. Maybe she gets angry. She stands up higher. You can just resize this. Easy peasy, just change the drawing up. I'll be a little bit bigger. Now, what I like to do, hide the layer behind it. And now, what we like to do. Is we press this refresh button and now this refreshes everything on layer comp layer comp one copy into whatever's open in this layer comp so as you can see i turned off this one and turned on this one and you just click refresh and everything new is is now on the panel and pretty much as you can see if you just flip through it. I've binded the flip through to F12, F11 and F12. And as you can see, you know, you can see maybe you have to resize a character. So you resize it. And that's kind of it. She looks sad, then goes up. Maybe you want to duplicate another one. Here, to make a settle, I'll just duplicate this layer go into uh, edit go into skew and i just skew it down maybe lower her a nudge and then press this refresh button again and then layer five copy is now on copy two and you can see she has a little settle The shoulders are a little big, so I'm just gonna. Re you see how easy it is to edit these panels. The actual layers do not change. It's only what layers are open at that time. Nothing else matters for layer comps. It's not like in a uh, timeline where these layers, like the place of the layers, change. Not me getting emotionally attached in the last two frames. The storyboard. How do you flip through panels and comps? Okay, so what I do is, let me see if I remember, keyboard shortcuts, I think, layer comps, we go down, and next layer comp, I put F12, and previous layer comp, I put F11. This is just in the keyboard shortcuts. You can, however, also flip through the panels just by pressing these two arrows on the left side of the layer comp section. You don't actually need to keybind it. You just need this. They're not as effective. But I like flipping it like an animatic. So now we want a third panel, maybe a side view of them, or a fourth panel actually. So I'll just lay down a quick grid. This is why I make the gray see-through is so I can like draw a little bit into it. Imagine a kind of desert environment. Maybe a bird in the distance. So pretty much just drawing, saving, drawing, saving. I've made her a little bit like mad.
can just move around freely. It's pretty easy. Just control T to move it around. So this is the girl. I'll draw the I would suggest not grouping the characters in the same thing. This is kind of the most shorthand I can do for this. For a new scene, I'll just press the plus button to create a new layer comp, so it'd be layer comp two. You can name your scenes. So you can say scene two if you want, and that'll come up with scene two. And that's it, and that's all we do. And now, so we can look, starts her, she looks up, looks angry, and then it just cuts to a, to a side view. If you ever want to delete a, so let's say you don't want this antic, so you don't want this settle, all you do is press the garbage button, delete layer comp 2, yes, and that's it. And that's all there is to it. How many panels do you do in one file? Pretty much until the end. That will be so many layers in the end. Yeah, I know. It would be. It gets kind of nuts. Uh, but I mean, you can see I've done essentially four panels and there's maybe 10 layers. Obviously, as you get like more complex, I think you can get like 100, 200 panels without it like lagging a lot. But I think after that, the camera work is done manually. So let's say we want to pan across this, what we would do this is where Storyboard Pro gets the advantage. Let's say we want to, we have to duplicate the scene. You can even group all this up, duplicate the group, move it a little bit, refresh it. Sometimes that happens. Grouping gets a little hard with layer comps. You can see that's how you can move it. You just have to literally duplicate it and literally move it. And honestly, it's a lot easier to do in Storyboard Pro. Photoshop is a pain in the ass to do camera moves. What I'm doing is that I draw in Photoshop in the animatic in Storyboard Pro. That's a much better idea. But I can't do that. I have to manually do the moves. Some people, you know, you can draw out the moves so let's say we have like a a plane let's say there's a cube here and there's a character running through this is pretty common A lot of times for action scenes. So this will be first panel. Save this. Make another one. Some people will draw out every single panel for like an action scene. And this is obviously very time consuming but it does look better at the end of the day. Ignore these really crappy drawings. Sometimes when I do these like action-y camera moves, 
I'll sometimes reuse a background. You know? You don't always have to redraw it. Sometimes you can just get away with resizing stuff. You know? Obviously it doesn't look as good, but... Here. Quick, easy fix. Changing the... Changing the run cycle. There we go. He runs into the distance. And that's it. That is pretty much layer comps.